<laughs> yeah, I think everyone is. Real quick, before we just go over to the stuff other people would rather hear us talk about, I mm -hmm. want to give props to my man Shushu. Came on the podcast. I think the world of him. He got a brilliant knockout, and I'm trying to remember. Oh, it reminded me of um, Ray Mercer's knockout of Tommy Morrison. I saw someone Oof. put it on Twitter, and I was remembering. <laughs> and it kind of also reminded me of a Kendall Holt knockout from an old Friday Night Fights where he went right hand, left hook to the body, and then left Oscar De La Hoya 45 to finish the fight. Good job for Bruce Shushu Carrington. He gets the first stoppage of his career and really just a, a genuinely good dude. Jeremiah Milton gets a knockout on an extremely late notice opponent. Jeremiah, really, really interesting story. I think one of the best interviews in the sport of boxing can really fight. And I just want to see his record get built because I think he's a guy that him and Shaw would be an interesting bout because they're both personalities. And if they're at a good record point, that would be interesting. And I think because of the relevancy, we also have to bring up Nico Ali Walsh has a new trainer, Richard T. Sloan. Most people know him as a painter. He actually also was a protege of Joe Frazier, Ali's rival, and now he's working with Nico Ali Walsh. Obviously, the competition in this fight was not what we'd say extremely challenging. He was kind of built to order. That being said, I think as long as the telecasts don't force feed Nico Ali Walsh down our throat, and it feels kind of like privilege that his last name is giving anointing him these spots. I do think there's an element of it's cool to see Ali's grandson fight, even though we know he really isn't the caliber of the fighters we're used to seeing on television. For sure. Um, and I think that top rank has kind of seen that, that, Hey, we, 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 we can't go too heavy on him. You know, let's, let's enjoy it for what it is. A guy that's still trying to learn how to box and has some talent. Uh, you can't say that he doesn't anybody that can, that can knock out a moving target. That's not an easy thing to do. And I don't care who you're in there against. Um, there is the nostalgia, there is the history, but I thought uh, the way he's being presented, especially in this last bout uh, was a very, um, good choice to to bring him about in, in that way um so yeah you know it's enough where people enjoyed it and yeah step him up against the next guy now little by little i mean if you don't have much of an amateur career that's how you're gonna have to do it you're gonna have to learn as a pro but take it slow uh, and uh don't make <laughs> don't make the, these big expectations just enjoy it for what it is we've seen what happens when um someone with a, a famous last name or a famous lineage gets overhyped and maybe expectations are too high. It, it can really cause a, a, a toxic situation. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about poor Campbell Hatton, nice kid who, uh, who wants to go in there, but again, you know, let's put him, you know, on the main card and here he is, let's put a documentary out. It's like, man, you're making it real tough for that kid, you know, just let him, let him, you know, dabble with, you know, and find his own way. And uh, don't put these crazy expectations or a, a, a insane spotlight on the guy because someone like that could fold under the, the pressure. Um, and right now it looks like Ali Walsh is doing well with the pressure and, and, and it was managed well in this last bout. When I, I like the only thing I don't like, and I get why they're doing it because it's more of a story arc. And this fighter is more of a narrative story than it is a, a competitive athlete, if we're being honest. So I'm not the biggest fan of the family being filmed the whole time, like the Tim Bradley Ruslan wife cam, just because I think at a certain point we can have elements of that, but we also have to treat it as sport and less of spectacle. And I think that the big problem with like Campbell Hatton's and Nico Ali Walsh is they both seem like really nice people, yet people are going to inherently root against them because they're very limited in their skill sets. And they're kind of finding themselves as people through their last name and through getting an opportunity to fight on television and bonding with. I think in Campbell Hatton's instant, he wants to bond with his dad. He wants to experience some things his dad did. I think with Nico Ali Walsh, probably every single person he meets, he's Ali's grandson. So I think a part of him wants to go and enter the boxing ring and understand what his grandfather did and be feel more connected. 
And I think a lot of people don't think about that. They just look at him and compare him to Shakur Stevenson. And they're like, well, he's not Shakur. And I think that that's more of what's happening is this is almost a therapeutic release for these people to try to bond closer with their families that are afforded a luxury most people aren't. A hundred percent. Well said. And again, people are so quick to react um, and to get their two cents out there and just kind of go with, uh, well, why is he on here? Why is he getting this opportunity? It's only because of this. It's like, okay, well, let him enjoy it. You know, why do we have to, you know, crap on them because of that? They did nothing wrong. It's anyone that wants to go in the ring or is willing to go in the ring, give them respect. Um, and, and I think uh, it's very easy pe- for people to judge and, and to take shots without reminding them like, Hey, they're getting punched in the face. Like anyone that's willing to do that immediately has a certain level of respect for me. I know. What's up everybody. It's your good friend, Lukey. And I appreciate you watching this video now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview, look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.